Hello, my name is Dr. Selva. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Makota Medical Center, Malacca, Malaysia. In this video, I will first explain the procedures before we perform HIFU for fibroid and adenomyosis. Patients with fibroids and adenomyosis usually learn about HIFU from their doctors, social media, or from newspaper. They will call us for more information. We usually tell them that there are two options. Number one, to make an appointment to see me for consultation. We usually arrange for a consultation early in the morning. After the consultation, an ultrasound will be done. After that, we will arrange for an MRI to be done. After reviewing the MRI, we will then do a simulation on the HIFU machine to see whether HIFU can be done. Once simulation is done, then we will arrange for the HIFU surgery. We will then fill up the necessary forms for insurance claim and fix a date for the procedure. Some patients who do not want to travel to Malacca for a consultation will do the MRI in their own hospital. The MRI will then be sent to us for evaluation. If they are suitable for HIFU, we will arrange for an appointment for simulation and HIFU surgery. Preparation for HIFU starts four days before the surgery. For two days, patients are asked to be on a low fiber diet. After that, for two days, they have to be on liquid diet. This is to ensure that there are no fiber in the intestines before the surgery. This is very important. The patient is seen in my clinic the day before the surgery. She will be admitted. On the night before the surgery, she will be given two bottles of laxatives to drink to clean the bowel. She will be fasted from 10 p.m. On the day of the surgery, she will be given an enema. An intravenous drip will be set up and we will place a urinary catheter. She will be brought to the HIFU center and will be placed on the machine. Mild intravenous sedation will be given. Then we will perform the HIFU surgery. The patient will be awake throughout the surgery. After the surgery, she will be rested in the prone position for two to six hours. She will be able to have light refreshments after about two hours. She will be discharged the next day. Fibroids and adenomyosis are common diseases in women. Fibroid is a benign growth of the muscle of the uterus. Adenomyosis is a condition in which the inner lining of the uterus breaks through the muscle wall of the uterus. Currently, the treatment available for fibroids and adenomyosis are surgical removal of the fibroid or adenomyosis or complete removal of the uterus. Hi, I'm Dr. Selva, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist of Makota Medical Center, Malacca. Let me share with you an overview of High Intensity Focus Ultrasound or HIFU. To perform HIFU, the preparation starts four days before the surgery. The patient must be on a low residue diet for two days, followed by a liquid diet for the next two days. She will be given an enema 12 hours for bowel preparation before the surgery. She must fast for 8 to 12 hours before the procedure. On the day of the surgery, the patient will be brought to the HIFU center. Her abdomen and perineum will be shaved and cleaned. A catheter will be placed in her bladder. An IV drip will be set up. The procedure is performed under a light sedation. She will lie face down on the machine. The doctor will then plan the surgery. The surgery will take about one to two hours to complete. HIFU is a technique whereby an ultrasound beam is brought to a tight focus in the fibroid and adenomyosis, heating up the tissue within and destroying the diseased tissue without causing any harm to the surrounding tissues. Makota Medical Center will be the first hospital in Malaysia to introduce the ultrasound-based HIFU. There are many advantages of HIFU. It is a non-invasive therapy. There is no scar in the abdomen. The patient will not experience any blood loss and there will not be any blood transfusion. The patient can communicate with the doctor at the time while the procedure is being done. It is not done under anesthesia. It is only done under light sedation. The patient will only experience minimal discomfort after the procedure. She can return home when the sedation is worn off after about six to eight hours. In conclusion, HIFU provides women with a good option to preserve fertility and the ability to quickly return to normal activities after treatment.
In this video, I will describe how HIFU is performed for fibroids and how we assess whether the HIFU surgery is successful. My patient is a 32-year-old lady with a 7 by 6 cm fibroid. This fibroid causes pressure symptoms for her. Ultrasound showed a large fibroid measuring 6.76 times 7.16 cm. There was another smaller fundal fibroid measuring 1.65 times 1.74 cm. MRI was performed in another hospital and it was not very clear. This is the T2W1 sagittal MRI showing the dark uterine fibroid. This is a contrast sagittal MRI showing that the fibroid is vascular. She underwent HIFU surgery. We decided that we will not ablate the smaller fibroid because it is too small and close to the endometrial cavity and there is a risk of damage to the endometrium if we ablate it. Microbubble Sonoview was injected before the surgery. You can see the blood flow in the fibroid. The fibroid was very vascular. This is the complete video of the HIFU ablation running at 20 times the speed. The whole surgery took 48 minutes. The whitish areas that you see are the grayscale changes caused by the HIFU ablation. We start the ablation at the largest slice. The focal point is moved from one point to another until sufficient energy is given to each slice. Once sufficient energy is given to one slice, then we move to the next slice. There are several precautions that need to be taken when ablation is done. Firstly, the energy must not reach the serosa of the fibroid and so a safety margin of about 15 millimeters is given all around the fibroid. Secondly, we must ensure that the bowel is away from the path of the ablation. This is the position of the bowel. Once sufficient energy is given to all the layers, then color Doppler is done to see whether the ablation is complete. At the end of the surgery, microbubble sonoview is then injected to see whether the ablation is sufficient. The dark areas that is seen are the areas that has been ablated, indicating that there is no blood flow in these areas. The probe is then rotated so that the fibroid can be seen in the transverse view. The dark areas are the ablated areas of the fibroid. Microbubble sonoview is a good way of determining whether the fibroid has been completely ablated. The next day, she had another MRI. Contrast sagittal MRI shows that the fibroid has been ablated with dark areas which are the non-perfused areas, NPV. About 90% of the fibroid has been ablated. I will be following her up and I will be doing regular 3D ultrasound scans to measure the size and volume of the fibroid. After three months, I will be performing another MRI to see the amount of shrinkage of the fibroid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a good idea as to how HIFU is performed to ablate and shrink fibroids. This is a non-invasive method of shrinking fibroids without surgery.